If you're struggling with complicated rendering techniques, then you're in the right place. Make sure to stick around till the end of this video. You will learn how you can turn any simple sketch into an impressive lifelike render from this to this. First up, these are the software or tools used in this video. For this instance, we're using Procreate to draw a simple sketch. You can use any software you like. There's a bunch of tools out there like Photoshop, Paint, or you can even draw on a piece of paper and scan a digital copy of your sketch. You will need it later for our next step. Next, we'll be using an AI tool called Midjourney. This AI tool has been around for a while now. With its current version 6, it's been nothing but impressive as it continuously produces realistic results. Now, you will need to sign up and install the Discord app to use it. If you want to know how to get Midjourney up and running, let me know in the comments below and I will create a separate video about it. I have been using Midjourney for about a month now. Having said that, I would recommend its basic plan, which is $10 per month. It's more than enough, at least in my opinion, to get the hang of using its prompts to create amazing images from scratch. Now let's open up the Discord app and go to our server. Upload our simple sketch like so and press enter. Right click on the image and select copy image link. Now type in the following prompts, forward slash imagine, space, paste the copied image link, space, then use the following prompts below. Mid journey will generate four images for us. At the bottom, we are presented with options, upscale, regenerate, and variant. The numbers next to the letters represent the numbers assigned to their corresponding images. Let's make a variant of our first image by pressing on the V1 option. You can also use your web browser to have a better view of your newly generated images. Let's pick this one and download it into our folder. We will repeat this process until the sketch lines disappear. These images are not quite what I had in mind, but the results are very interesting. Let's try again and select the refresh button. It still has that unfinished look. Let's remove the depth of field prompt and copy some of the previous ones over. Let's open these images again in our web browser to have a closer look. The first and third images look decent. Let's make a variant of each by selecting V1 and V3 options.
I must say, these are pretty decent images that can be used for quick concept references. Once we have a clean generated image, let's do the same process, but this time we will change some prompts. So let's upload our clean image and press enter. Right click on the image and select copy image link. Type again the following, forward slash imagine space paste the copied image link space, then use the following prompts below. These images look really impressive. Go ahead and repeat the same steps, and try getting different results by changing some of the prompts. To be honest, I am really impressed at how quickly Midjourney created these concept images out of a simple sketch. The results are not perfect, but it gets the job done. Obviously, this type of technology is just going to get better with time. Just out of curiosity, let's try an alternative approach. Let's use two of these reference images and upload them to our server. Type in the following, forward slash, imagine, space, then use the following prompts below. I find that this type of method creates an even more realistic looking result. Let's change the aspect ratio to a wider view and show more of its context. If you want to remove the people in the images, you can try this one. Using Midjourney can definitely ease up your workflow. Creating concepts has never been this fun and easy. With just a few prompts, you can create lifelike renders just from a simple sketch. If you want to learn more about architectural visualizations, watch this next video right here.